In this video, I'm going to show you that there are two different ways that you can solve this problem using the partial products method. Um, the number is 35 times 42. The first way I'm going to show you is the way that we talked about in class, where you can make a series of boxes using expanded notation. So I'm going to start with 35. And 35 in expanded notation is 30 plus 5. I'm going to write that number at the top. Uh, 42 in expanded notation is 40 plus 2. Once I have my number set up, I then create the box to fit. I'm going to use extended multiplication to solve the problem. So 40 times 5 is 200. 40 times 30 is 1,200. 5 times 2 is 10. 2 times 30 is 60. I'm now going to add these numbers together. 1,200 plus 200 plus 60 plus 10. Notice how important it is to keep my numbers in columns. Then I'm going to add each column. My answer is 1,470. The second way to solve this problem, and using the partial products way, is to write it vertically. So I'm going to write 35 times 42. Now what I'm going to show you on the left side over here is not what you need to actually write down. I'm just going to show you my thinking process out loud. Again, you're thinking about the numbers as where they stand in place value. So I'm going to start here and I'm going to say 40 plus 30 times 30, I'm sorry, 40 times 30 is 1,200. 40 times 5 40 times 5 is 200. Now I'm going to look at the 2. 2 times 30 is 60. And 2 times 5 is 10. In the end, I'm going to add up my numbers. And my answer again is 1,470. Either method is using partial products. It just depends on which setup you prefer.